Here are the starters. Number one, Sloop John B., owned by John Liviakis of Mill Valley, California, trained by Joe Anderson. Ryan Anderson is up. Coupled in the wagering is 1A, tough on top. Last year's State Fair Juvenile Champion, owned by John Leahy, Anderson Racing Incorporated, and Robert Ranquist Jr., trained and driven by Joe Anderson. Two is I Just Want to Fly, owned by the OK Corral of Elmhurst, trained by Katrina Rucker, Eric Ledford in the bike. Three is Ideal Performer, co-owned by trainer James Rowney of Marseilles and by T.J. Creedon III of Ottawa, Illinois. Rick Schrock is the driver. Major Tsunami, number four, owned by R.C. Clavey, J.L. Marks, and J.R. Pennick of Huntley and Lincolnwood, trained by Don Nolan, Dave McGee in the bike. Five, Klingon Warrior, owned by Perfect World Enterprises of Old Westbury, New York. Tom Harmer, the trainer, and Tony Morgan is in the bike. And number six, Altamonte, owned by Sharon Higgs of Altamont, trained by Roy Finn, and he is the driver. Race 15 is three minutes from Eighth post. of a mile from the start. Looking for three more qualifiers from this 15th race, third division of the sophomore Colt and Gelding Pace. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Klingon Warrior and Major Tsunami come out for the lead. Sloop John B is off stride at the start. And driver Ryan Anderson has to gather him up and try to get him back on his feet. And now he settles down, but he's last a dozen lengths off the lead. Klingon Warrior leading Major Tsunami by a length and a half. Another length and a half to I Just Want to Fly, who goes third. Ideal Performer is racing in fourth as they move by the quarter. Then Tough on Top, Altamonte, and Sloop. John B. Opening quarter went to 27 and 4. The field is well bunched now, moving on to the back stretch. Klingon Warrior leading it by just over a length. And Major Tsunami goes second by a length and a half. I Just Want to Fly is racing in third. Ideal Performer is next. There goes Altamonte. He's moving up on the outside, fifth. And Sloop John B. goes with cover behind him as Tough on top is now last, but only eight lengths off the lead. They have hit the half in a time of 57 seconds. And Klingon Warrior has had no pressure up front. He leads Major Tsunami by a length. Altamonte is still parked with no cover. He's third on the outside. And he has Sloop John B. coming with him on the outside as well. I Just Want to Fly is trapped toward the rail in the fifth spot. Then Tough on top on the outside of Ideal Performer. And they're at the three-quarter. And they're being led by Klingon Warrior. He leads it by a length. Altamonte second. Sloop John B. B angles three wide from third. Major Tsunami is a close up fourth, but he needs room. Three quarters and 126 and three. Klingon Warrior leading Sloop John B off the far turn. Tough on top is out in the center of the track. Major Tsunami is still there toward the inside, but Klingon Warrior leads it by two. Klingon Warrior by two and a half. Major Tsunami, then tough on top. I just want to fly toward the rail. Klingon Warrior hangs on by a diminishing one length margin. Tough on top was second, and I just want to fly came up the inside for third and 153 and one. So far today, there have been 11 odds on favorites, and nine of those odds on favorites have won. And here's the most recent number five, Klingon Warrior Tony Morgan with the winning drive. Here's a Colt who last year as a two-year-old won seven times and won nearly $100,000. He's a coal muffler bred by Cottonwood Farm Incorporated, owned by Perfect World Enterprises of Old Westbury, New York. Breeder Terry Hunt is down trackside with the winning connections. Tom Harmer trains this Colt. And he was one of those who was always in there slugging it out with the top two-year-olds a year ago. And now he picks up his first victory of this season after racing in some very tough competition in Canada and on the East Coast earlier in the year. It is official.